welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new my name is Chelsea and I'm happy to have you here today so today is Friday happy Friday I just put up a new video today posted I guess you'd say now I'm getting started on working on another one so I can get one up for Monday Chase is gonna be gone this weekend to the lake and we don't have much to do we are gonna go to the lake for a few hours one day this weekend like I said in the last video to go tubing, I think I can get some stuff done this weekend because Dax will be here, obviously. But Josh is off on the weekend, so I'm going to bust my butt and try to get it done. <laughs> I did end up getting that container for the baby clothes so I can get rid of this pile right here. And I also got some stuff from Walmart, and I'm going to show you the container that I got. And hopefully this stuff fits in it, and then... I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart. So without further ado, let's get right on into this video. Let's do it. So here's the container we got. It is a 40 gallon and it is the Hart brand, H-A-R-T. It's backwards, but this is the brand that Josh has for all of his tools. So of course he wanted this one. I believe it was $30 and I still got the stuff in it. We got it last night and here's all the stuff that was in it that we got. So. I'm going to get all this stuff out and I'm going to show you what I got real quick. And then we're going to see if this stuff right here will fit in this box. I'm going to have to take them out of the boxes and probably put them in bags. Okay, so here's the haul. We got the container, obviously, with the lockable lids. We got some Red Bull. And we got some laundry hangers because we needed some more. And then I got this uh, powder formula dispenser. It's a three compartment. And like for on the go, I can go ahead and put the amount of scoops that I need in this so I don't have to bring the whole container. Love that. I used to have one for Chase. And then Chase is going to start using his shower because he uses his own bathroom, but he doesn't use a shower. I'm using it for like a storage, and plus we didn't have a liner in there. And I got some more shower curtain rings that are going to actually match the new shower curtain. So we're going to get these on here because I'm going to be cleaning his bathroom and his bedroom for this video. We needed some more uh, antibacterial soap, Dawn detergent, and I got this to keep in the diaper bag because you always need some hand sanitizer and then we don't have any Tylenol or anything so I wanted to go ahead and get some infants Tylenol my opinion you always need some of that on hand I needed some more panty liners and I get the always brand and I've already busted it open this uh, intuition razor but it comes with the two heads and I love it so much it's already got the shaving cream on there I busted it into this razor because the hairs on the legs was looking rough so I needed to take care of that I needed some toothbrushes and these are a two pack with the little uh, heads on there and I think it was like less than a dollar maybe 97 cents and then obviously we needed some more bread and this is my kind of bread so here is the haul and I also got some stuff to make a pie but I busted into that earlier so just use your imagination. Here is the state of Chase's bathrooms. You see the red shower curtain rings up there that doesn't match the new shower curtain. We're gonna fix that and put a new shower liner up. It's not too bad. Cause he usually, he only uses the bathroom in here. So I wanna give his toilet a good clean and just go over the vanity and the mirror and stuff. So we'll see. And then his bedroom isn't bad. I just need to pick this stuff up and I do want to make his bed and just give it a good vacuum and I need to put his clothes up. So he's at the lake with my mom and them. So he's not here. So when he comes back, he'll have a clean room. Just going to go ahead and do it for him. So we're going to get started by using this OxyClean Fantastic and go ahead and get that in the toilet and letting it sit. We're gonna let that work and we'll come back to it. I will never smile for you, smile for you, smile for you, smile for you. I will never cry for you, cry for you, cry for you, cry for you. I can take this anymore. We're gonna use this method ever since the sink is not too bad. Yeah. 
this one that doesn't match away and I'm gonna put these in a little uh, ziplock baggie and put them in the donate pile because these are cute okay now we're gonna do the floor Chase is really into gaming these days, so far as toys goes and making a big mess, he really don't do that anymore, but now we have Dax, and he's going to grow up and make the biggest of messes, so we are completely starting over, and that's going to be so much fun. <laughs> but I cannot wait to see him grow, watch him grow into a lovely young man, but... These floors were pretty nasty, and I wish I would have showed y'all the mop water, but I got Josh to go take it outside and pour it out. Let me know, are you out of that season of life where you have to clean your kids' room big messes, or you help your kids clean the big messes? Okay, so here is the bathroom. It's all finished. Gotta wash the rugs and put them back down, but other than that, this one's looking good. Okay, so y'all know I like starting with the bed because it just makes it seem more put together. Thinking about the way that you know me No one ever cared like you care for me You're such a bright star in the dark space mine it goes in my room and then all the stuff right here is donate okay so now all that we have left to do is put all the stuff away and we're just going to put it in this closet because there's not really nowhere else to put it. This basket I'm going to put over here in this corner beside the bed. And then I'm just going to wipe down the dresser and stuff and put these clothes up that are in the basket and we're going to vacuum. My Tenco vacuum that I've always used that I've had for a few years now. Like I had said last time, I think I've messed the battery up. It works half, but you know what I mean? But I have some good news. I have a vacuum coming up that is going to be sponsored and I cannot wait to try it out. And I needed a new vacuum. So I was like, of course I will work with you guys. <laughs> so I will get that here soon. I hope, and I can share that with you guys and I'll let you know what I think about it. You know, I'm honest over here. I'll tell you how it is. I know how to ask y'all what kind of vacuums y'all use and stuff. But, I mean, if they're going to work with me and send me a vacuum, then I'm going to do it. It's a cordless vacuum, so I'm going to try to do it right. Like, only plug it up when I know I'm going to use it. 
but I like to leave it on the charger and I don't think that's good for it. I'm probably going to get rid of my Tenco vacuum. I don't know. You can get a new battery for it, but it's like 60 bucks. I might see if Josh's nanny and sister wants it and maybe they want to get a new battery because if it had a new battery, I think it would work perfectly fine just to, again you know what I mean so that is lovely and Chase keeps knocking off these knobs it drives me crazy they're very loose no matter how tight I tighten them but I'm glad we got some new hangers because I definitely needed them Chase and Steve are down there at the boat. This is a little setup. You want a little camper tour? TV at Hunter. Get your little fan, it's got plug ins. It's cold in here. Hey, pumpkin. What to do, y'all? We're about to. Go on that thing back there. It's scary. Got to go Surprise. tubing. I got mine and his in the building. I just I didn't think about it. Papa driving. Coming on it. Get on it What's you laughing for, short stuff? You gotta do it too. <laughs> He said, I'm not falling in. <laughs> he didn't. Okay, so we went to Food Line, and here is the grocery haul for the next, I'd say, two weeks. Down here, Josh got two cases of Red Bulls, or two four-packs, and we needed some more water. We'll start in the back. I got two two liters of Sun Drop, gallon 2% milk, saltine crackers. This is Josh's favorite cookies, the Chips Ahoy Chunky White Fudge. Chase's Lucky Charms, he loves those. And I like this DiGiorno three meat. We all like it, but the three meat is my favorite. They prefer pepperoni, but they'll eat the three meat. Josh likes it too. And then here lately, I have been wanting these graham crackers with milk. Oh, that's so good. And then of course, the staple oatmeal cream pies. These are Josh's favorite barbecue Fritos. The baby's in there crying. Josh is changing his diaper and he ain't happy. And then I did something different this time. Sometimes we get the traditional uh, 
pasta sauce, but I wanted to try the chunky roasted garlic and herb pasta sauce, so I'm probably going to mix those two together because I end up using two cans every time. Okay, we needed some more chicken broth. Oh, and last night I did some chicken in the crock pot, and I made my own chicken broth, and so I put it in a container, so I've got that too. There's the pie that I made. I need to get that stuff off of it. It's denting the thing. <laughs> And then I just got like the regular cans that we get, the crisp and sweet corn, the French cut green beans, some chili, cream of chicken, brown sugar, hickory baked beans. They're delicious. And then there's two cans of tuna hiding back there. We get the Chef Boyardee, the mini ravioli, the spaghettios and meatballs, and the beefaroni. And then I love these. I put it in a pot and I put three eggs with it and stir it around till it's like thick. And then I put it on bread and I eat it like a sandwich for breakfast. And I got two cans of that. It is kind of pricey though. It's like three or four dollars for that can. But on to the meats. I got this whole bag of chicken drumsticks for $3.99. That's great. And then this roll of hamburger meat. And then we're going to try this roasted garlic and cracked black pepper pork it looks really good it's already seasoned so all you got to do is just cook it it's a fresh pork tenderloin i got some sub buns to make some subs for lunches or something hot dog buns we needed some more tortillas josh got some obey seasoning we need to get some shrimp we forgot to get it and i'm running out of the taco seasoning so i went ahead and got that we obviously needed the um ballpark weenies to go with the hot dogs and then josh got this packet of sausage flavor country and gravy it's the mccormick brand we love these blueberry martha white muffin mix so easy you just add milk literally and then you bake it we needed some more lemon juice to go with our pie and here's our pie stuff i got two pie crust we got the strawberry filling this time instead of the cherry so we're going to try that and then i got two things of sweet and condensed milk and i got the two of the pie crust too because it'll make two pies and i've been making them a lot here recently we haven't had the Velveeta mac and cheese in a while so i went ahead and got that some spaghetti noodles and then josh picked up the summer sausage so us it was around a hundred and 70 for all this so not too bad now to put all this crap up 